I don't hate Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church the way most people do. One of the biggest reasons for this is because I actually have identification with them. I'm not a homophobic person, so that's not my identification. I'm not a fundamentalist, that's not my identification. I'm not a Christian, that's not my identification. Like them, I have a lot of venom in me, and I have manifested it in the ways they have. Right now, I'm doing very intensive soul searching. I want to improve myself and achieve my goals. Right now, I'm focusing, zooming in on Westboro Baptist Church because it represents a layer of my soul I am seeking to remove, the moral crusader level of my soul. This level of the soul is ineffective and it prevents me from getting what I want. I see myself in Fred Phelps in Westboro Baptist Church, thus I can't hate them. And I would like to read you a position paper from the autonomy party, the political party I have. And this represents my view since I am a member of the autonomy party, a founder in fact, and thus the changes I make in my personal life reflect the party. As you can see, I have some of the same themes as Fred Phelps does, and this was before I even cared two wits about Fred Phelps. I talk about how you're either 100% against abortion and alcohol or 100% for it, and those who are not doing anything about it are the opposite. Take a close look at what I write and see the comparisons, and this is why I need to change. I want to be an iconoclast a revered iconoclast and a moral crusader is not a revered iconoclast. This next selection is taken from the book I wrote, Abortion is Murder. Again, I'd like to reiterate, I am still pro-life, but I don't want to take it terribly far. I don't want to take it in a way that is unhealthy and alienating to many. Part F. The Iraq War is an abortion doctor's dream come true. Who are some of the biggest beneficiaries of the war in Iraq? The answer few would consider. Abortion doctors. One pro-life website contrasted the total number of American war deaths from our country's beginning and the number of deaths from abortion in a single year. The website noted that in just a single year, more Americans die from abortion than all U.S. wars combined. Abortion is thus not only more deadly than war, but is in fact many times more deadly. This turns conventional wisdom on its head since conventional wisdom suggests that war is the deadliest conception ever. Nope. Satan set out to destroy us not by war, but by abortion. War kills too slowly for Satan. Abortion is far quicker. Saddam cruelly gassed thousands of Kurds. Some of them were adults. These adults at least got to live as long as they did, maybe 30, 40, 50, or however many years. When abortion doctors murder children, the children don't even get a chance to live at all. Although any form of murder is one of the worst moral transgressions, I would contend that the murder of children is even worse than the murder of adults. Thus, if you think Saddam is bad, the abortion doctors are far worse. Who has murdered more Americans? The abortion doctors by far. If Saddam can't even compare to the murderous abortion doctors, then we know the abortion doctors are really bad. The all-consuming war in Iraq is an abortion doctor's dream come true. Some scholars have noted that sometimes wars are used by politicians to divert attention from something else. When everyone is focusing attention on the war on Iraq, no one is focusing attention on the evil doings of abortion doctors. The mainstream media may give us a blow-by-blow -blow account of the Iraq war, as they say, but when was the last time you got a blow-by-blow -blow account of the murderous actions of the murderous abortion doctors. People may 
be galvanized to change if every night on the news all the abortion deaths were reported in full detail. But the media habitually neglects to do this. Fox has a reputation for being conservative, but Fox is really not conservative. A true conservative is concerned about abortion. Does Fox every night show grisly photos of abortion murders? Does Fox every day display a running toll of abortion murders? Does Fox every day devote a vast amount of its programming to editorializing about the evils of abortion? No. Then how dare Fox consider itself conservative? Fox is really liberal after all, and all its employees should turn in their conservative identification cards. Anyone who finds the war in Iraq to be more pressing matter than abortion cannot be considered a conservative. Saddam was a rotten man that deserved to be dis deposed. But we need to get our priorities straight. The worst tyrants around are the abortion doctors. Getting rid of Saddam primarily benefits Iraqis. If you want to do that, fine. But don't you think we should be assisting Americans first? Millions of American children cry out for our help and Fox refuses to help. The ultra-liberal Fox network must be considered pro-abortion. Since there are not unlimited resources in time, money, energy, and attention, what one does with resources says a lot. Since the Iraq war largely benefits abortion doctors, I must conclude that those who support the war in Iraq are ultimately serving pro-abortion liberals. Anyone who supports the war in Iraq is ultimately advancing the agenda of abortion doctors. Unacceptable. Truly anti-abortion individuals would not give the abortion doctors exactly what they want. Why should our government pursue a policy that benefits the abortion doctors? What did the abortion doctors ever do for us that was positive? It is a sad day when our own government is engaged in the business of making life easier for serial murders. It is a sad day when our government is catering to the every whim of serial murders. It is a sad day when our government is pro-murder.